<laughs> All right. Now, a conversation we've been looking forward to. Yes, In fact, we have. we've been gearing up to is this one. We have two lovely ladies on set with us today. First off, we have Theresa Edem. She's a Nigerian actress and filmmaker who won the Best Actress in a Feature Film Award mm -hmm. at the Las Vegas Black Film Festival. Mm -hmm. Yay! Woo <laughs> we also have multiple award-winning British Nigerian producer Samuela uh -huh. Ogidon, wow. writer, director, hey. and so much more. Come on. Uh, she's also the founder of OKP Productions. And uh, hey, we're going to be digging into her life and background. How's it going? <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. Welcome Thanks to the for show, ladies. Us. You are such a ball of energy. I know I am. So I <laughs> am. <laughs> Sometimes I think that's refreshing. Yes, it is. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of pressure to be all poised mm. and stiff in, yeah. in our industry now. Yeah. Uh, but how have you been able to balance it? Mm. Do you want to go first? No, you go. It's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Balancing, well, every day is a juggle for me. I'm a mom of two kids, two young you have boys. Two children. Yes, I she do does. have two children. <laughs> I do. I know. <laughs> that shocks everybody every single time. But um, yeah, so life already is a balancing act. Mm. And then, you know, trying to be a mom, a good wife, you know, mm. a great actress, producer, director, and all of that. It's just, it's interesting. Mm. And, you know, the thing is, but every single day, you kind of just have to, like, Pick. You have to prioritize. Mm. Obviously, family comes first, sure, and sure. then everything is, you know, after. And whatever doesn't allow me to be, to focus on my family, mm. I kind of just stay away from that. So mm. that's why I'm thankful for the industry. It's not like, what? you know, a nine to five every okay. day. It's Rigid. dependent. Mm. Exactly. It's mm. depending on like, you know, what project am I about to jump into? Mm. How does it, you know, resonate with me and mm. all that? And do, am I going to decide to do it? And <laughs> Yeah, it gives how, me the flexibility. How are you able to keep your personal life mm. away from the, you know, public space? Because you are an actor, mm -hmm. you're a producer. I mean, you're constantly in our faces on screen. Yeah. So how are you able to do that? Because I mean, you have two kids, and we didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> know, right? Well, you know now. Now you know. <laughs> um... I don't go out much to start with. Okay. <laughs> I am an introvert. Um, and also, you know, for me, because I am in the public eye mm. and my mm. husband and my children don't necessarily want to be in the public eye. So mm. I just, I have to be very, very conscious of that and intentional yeah. of, you know, okay. what I put out, what I keep um, yeah. private and that, yeah. So, so Teresa, we've had you on the show before. Yeah. Time back, <laughs> um, and we've seen you in so many different amazing projects. Thank uh, you. I know that you, um, have so when we saw Las Vegas, mm. it just hit me that wait, no, this is not somebody that is just on this show. So <laughs> this person has been um, so um, I, I'm wondering about the response mm -hmm. to, to to you and your roles that you play from your fans. Talk to us about that. Oh, my fans are the best. I feel like I'm f like I feel like we feel like we're friends. Mm -hmm. I have that relationship with my fans where everyone you, we can talk, we just we like vibe. You do get. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like the girl next door vibe. Mm. But my fans have been very supportive of my career. I've had people that have supported me from day one. Wow. I have fans that still, like, they still remind me of some of the films that I don't even, I'm like, yo, I did that <laughs> film. So it, the love has been massive. And across, I mean, across the globe, I did my village people and I had people reaching out for me from Gambia, mm. Ghana, like wow. just fans from everywhere showing love and all. And I really appreciate that. All right. So we have Segula Laogidon and Teresa Edem on the couch with us. If you missed the first part of this interview, you need to go check it out on YouTube later on. Uh, but there's something amazing that they're working on right now. Yes, but before we get into that, um, quickly, I would like to talk <laughs> to Theresa on this one. Because, um, I mean, we've sort of watched your journey in the industry. And um, the, um, so there was a conversation about, you know, your journey. So... It's, it seems like you seem to feature in a lot of dark movies, oh, yeah. right? You seem to play a lot of spooky roles, even in The Olive that we're about to talk about in a yeah. bit. And she's Not wearing roses. black today. And she's wearing black. <laughs> and she has long, straight hair. hair. Yes. We know where you're going. Now, the question is, are you being typecasted for those roles or you intentionally go for them? Like, you get the scripts and they say, oh, you're yeah, going to play A.G. Road, the fun, spooky. I'm like, no, 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 I don't want to play the fun girl. I want to play the spooky 
evil mistress. Dark mistress, yeah. I mean, <laughs> no, obviously, I'm an actor. I'm willing to explore every kind of act, um, every role. kind of character, every mm. kind of role, as long as it makes sense to me. It has okay. to resonate with me. But I mean, I do feel like Nollywood, they're getting too excited with this dark role thing. <laughs> they need to, I mean, you play it so well. We need to calm <laughs> down, you know. We need to calm down with it. But yeah, I, I don't know if I'd say I'm being typecast. But yeah, I get a lot of those things. Recently, I've been taking a break from them. I'm like, okay. guys. Should we write like, your rom com? You, yeah. <laughs> please, directors, would you yeah, like, rom -com. Please do. Rom -com you know, <laughs> Funny enough, I have played rom-coms. I was in Forbidden, which mm. was a, a ten month. It was yeah. running for months on, mm. on African Magic, and it was like a, he ended up with a, with a wedding. It was such a oh, love yeah. story. Yeah. Oh. So I have played. But we don't remember those ones. Remember no, the no, dark. I remember I mean, like on you, my <laughs> village people. What was yeah. the other one you mentioned? Trepidation. 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 <laughs> I, I tend to like these. Now things. let's talk about your character in The Olive, mm -hmm. right? Um, your husband Ibrahim Suleiman, which was played by Ibrahim Suleiman, mm -hmm. was earned. I mean, you you died, and then he the had to died. uncover the character, the character died. died. <laughs> wink, he wink. had to uncover so many mm -hmm. secrets. Yeah. Talk to us how. I mean, the impact that, that had on you as, you know, from, you know, and the I character that you played to you as, you know, a Teresa, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was interesting. When I got the script initially, I was like, what's going on here, you know? And then I started to read, and I'm like, oh, this girl is not really, because she's such a loving mm -hmm. mom, good friend to dummy and all of that. And then you start to realize she's hiding things. Mm. And then you realize she's not really, she's like a different person. There's a person she's hiding. Mm. So it was really interesting. There's uh, a whole life yeah. she's hiding. She's hiding. Mm. hiding yeah. Because she's Ahi and she's Abigail. Mm. Do you get what I mean? So it's like, it was interesting playing that character because I had to literally be two, two people in one. Yeah. And then, I mean, the team, the directors helped, the, the crew helped, the costumes helped mm. me become makeup and everything because mm. the character was literally, is way older than I am in real life. Yeah. Mm. So they had to like, they did something to my brow that kind of made me look older, okay. you know? So th there was all of that. And then, and then at the end, I mean, if you watched it, you saw that she didn't die. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Spoiler alert. No, no, but this is season, season one. That's season, season one. one. That's season one. Yeah, but it's still, for those that haven't watched it, it's still a spoiler. That's, that, oh, that, yeah. was, that was a I mean, go watch it. Why haven't you? <laughs> but <laughs> season two, there were some changes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, especially with, with the, the, the character that plays the, your husband in the Yeah, the yeah. We Talk lost. to us a bit about that. Uh, <sighs> we lost Karibi. Um, he played my husband in season one. Um, and then, you know, then Michael Edgel had to Replace know, fill him. in his shoes. And it was, it was challenging, I'm not going to lie, because, of course, you know, you spend how many months? Um, yeah, this like person, months, you know, other, one person yeah. playing their wife. You build chemistry and all of that. You have that history. And then to try and, like, kind of rebuild that with somebody mm -hmm. else. But knowing that you've already done this with somebody else mm. and, you know, it, it was challenging. But Michael was just so gracious yeah. and so patient with me. Mm. Um, and the directors were very patient with me. Thank you, Tolu. Thank you, Edith. Mm. Um, uh, but we got there in the end and we were able to, you know, build mm. our own rapport and, yeah. you know, form it's here what now. it is. Yeah, it exactly. does feel It does feel a little, you know, um, is the word harsh? You know how the industry just makes makes you move just on. Just move yeah. on. Yeah. The yeah. show must go on, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. It is. It is. I mean, but the thing is, um, after we lost career, I mean, we paused the show for a really long time because we were really all hoping that he would get better. Yeah. But um, when he, you know, passed on, mm. we gave it time. We mm. did give it time. Mm. We gave that respect and mm. everything, and yeah. then you know everybody collectively spoke oh. about it like what should we do yeah should we, you know what should we do with, with this character should mm. we replace him and stuff and it just made sense to oh. replace All right. him yeah now so what should we expect from season two mm. i mean season one had a lot of suspense mm -hmm. and there were intrigues mm. and now she didn't die eventually <laughs> <laughs> What's next? What's next? Mm. I mean, season two is, you know, season one was kind of like a slow burn. Mm. Like, ease, ease into, into it. it. Season two is like, boom, you're in it. Like, like it we're just, not, yeah, mm. it's pacey. Yeah. Everything is happening so real fast. fast. And then there's a lot of, like, there's action. Mm. She's now, like, apparently she becomes, like, an action character. Like, wow. yeah, she's So not, you did stunts? Yeah, a lot Ooh. of them. So, Tell us about that. <laughs> I mean, that was interesting. That was interesting. I don't want to um, ruin yeah. it for the viewers, but you need to watch it. It was yeah. really good. So that was my first time of, like, playing, like, an action um, 
I'm, uh, bigger. Bigger. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. It was really interesting. Yeah. I had to train and all of okay. that. Okay. So that's different, you see? It's different yeah. from the yeah. dark <laughs> stuff. Still dark. <laughs> Still dark. <laughs> but, 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 but the thing is, I, I have a question. So, so for people like us, mm. we really find it odd when we have to watch ourselves. Oh, I've never. Have you actually watched the entire season before? Like, have you watched everything <sighs> back to back? And how does it make you feel? <laughs> I don't watch myself. Yeah, if I, I do, don't if either. I don't direct and produce something, mm. I don't watch it. I mean, as a director, because obviously you direct. Yeah, of course you have to. And if I'm yeah. in it, then. Mm. But um, if I'm just acting, I, I tend to stay like away to, from yeah. it. Me I think a lot why? of actors don't. Because I feel like I'm my own worst critic. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So I'll always see over something. criticizing yeah. yourself. Yeah. You're watching it and you're thinking, oh, really? That was a choice you made in that mm -hmm. scene. Yeah. It, so do you, you know, think it just... does? Do you think it does something to you as an actor mm. when you over criticize yourself? Do you think it sort of affects your esteem or like it does? What mm. I just want to uh, somewhat break down the emotion that you feel mm. when you are in that space. Mm. I mean, for me, every day I feel like a fraud as an actor. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So when people are like, oh my gosh, you're amazing, I'm like, uh, really? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That imposter syndrome is, yeah, is oh thing. my oh, goodness. Yeah. yeah. Really? Oh, wow. So I just stay away from it. And then, you know, whatever feedback I get, I'm like, thank you. But do oh. I believe it? Ooh, mm. Not necessarily. Mm. Yeah, but when yeah. the awards start coming, you know. Right. I mean, I have received Best Actress Awards in yeah. the UK. Yeah. You know, so you would think that. Yeah, I would. You know what I mean. But still, like I said, that imposter syndrome yeah. is crazy. Mm. Maybe I mean, until I win an Oscar. Yeah, uh, maybe um, an Oscar. Even then, probably, <laughs> probably. Yeah. right. Mm -hmm. um, I, we saw you your breakout role in A Night at Christmas, yes. mm. and then next thing we just saw you in Glamour Girls. And I just went from uh, uh, the, the sweet sister girl <laughs> next door to. Uh, Hello, I, uh, baby. I'm like, <laughs> I promise you, it took me a while. I had to rewind. I know, people rewind. I'm like, it's it's not it's not the one. It should have won. That's good acting. Please. Yeah. How were you able to break into that character as mm. the person you played in The Glamour Girls? Oh, my goodness. I had to go into some dark places <laughs> to be able to bring okay. the character hell out. Mm. You know, mm. it was really challenging because I shot. Glamour Girls at the same time as I was shooting in Niger Christmas. So that oh, was, wow. yeah, it was crazy. So literally in the day, I would do a Niger Christmas. At night, I would do Glamour Girls. So it was literally like living a double life. Wow. And I, felt, I genuinely felt like, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, like, a, like a double agent. A double agent. <laughs> so like, hey. I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about the first Glamour Girls movie. How many mm. times did you have to watch that? Mm. Do you know what? I started get... watching it yeah. and then I was like, I'm doing myself a disservice oh, because then I'm going to go in with like a preemptive. Exactly. You know? okay. So I was just like, do you know what? Stop. So I, I think mm. I watched like the first 30 minutes okay. and mm -hmm. then I left it. I was like, okay. I'm just going to, you know, mm. create my own ideas of this character, yeah. my own concept of the story mm. and let's, right. you know, have fun. And mm. But didn't you get like, like um, so from fans online, didn't you get those questions like, oh, this is not how they did it before or, uh, you know? Do you know what? The thing is, I'm, I can speak for my fans. Um, I think they understand my background um, to start with. So they're very gracious with how I interpret characters. Mm. And I think they just appreciated the fact that I was a authentic mm. with the character. I wasn't trying to be somebody else or trying to, you know, fit into a particular mold. I thought you were authentic too. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I got a lot of, like, I, I, it was nice to hear very positive feedback about, mm. you know, the mm. work that I did on Glamour yeah. Girls because I put in a lot of work. Oh, it showed. <laughs> really it showed. Um, Teresa, um, now let's talk about, I mean, yes, you're, yeah, it's, the industry has sort of typecasted. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah, they're right. We are going to put her yeah, inside. So what is that role <laughs> that you are eating mm. for? Mm. Yeah. I don't know. To be honest, I just, I won't say they've typecasted me because I just did, I've done stuff this year that's this year that's totally that's different, different from, from anything you've seen mm. or anyone has seen out okay. there. So, I mean, like, the role I'm itching for is just, I would like to do a biopic. You'd like to do what? Ooh, a biopic. Yeah. A biopic. Oh. Do oh. you have anyone in mind? I mean, there's, they're still alive. I don't know. Biopic uh. must they always be dead? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just there are a couple of people that people say, oh my God, you look so much like. Like who? Um, okay. Like Fumi. Um, Ionda. Oh, oh, yeah. I, 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 I saw that. 
see that time. now. Yeah. I've always oh, seen for that. Me on that. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I mean, so I'd like to do a biopic, like someone that is alive, mm -hmm. someone yeah. or, or past, you know, like, mm -hmm. play that person. So it would be interesting stuff. to see how wow. I could uh, pick up their nuances. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, you fit into that role. Perfect. I think you're going to eat it up. Mm -hmm. Producers. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so can I, can I touch my horn now? Yeah, oh, yeah. Fun <laughs> fact. Mm. Uh, she interviewed me when I was... 17. Oh, wow. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh. I was still modeling. Oh. So I, I used to see her, like, she had, like, a halo around her. Oh, wow. Then. And it was just amazing. So yeah. that is a role you really want to Yeah, play. you should. But um, now, what okay. on the grapevine oh, wow. is that you could <laughs> be in our world. We're looking at your <laughs> finger, basically. Oh, my God, I've been married for almost seven years. Seven, seven years? Yeah. <laughs> what? Is it that people don't? Ask How are you all so good at keeping your private life private? Yeah. Wow, I've been, been married since yeah. December 2015. Oh, <laughs> so talk to us about how time. you're... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, you have been in this industry for a yeah. while, right? So mm. talk to us about how, you know, um, do you have the conversation sometimes your husband is like, don't go and be kissing anybody yes. in any oh, world. Yes, <laughs> yes, wow. yes, I do. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I know it was your question, but I mean, yes, I do. Or maybe you hug the set, your your fellow... Um, colleague, colleague yeah. and, and of course it's like why did you hug this person in this setting <laughs> wow you know the funniest thing my husband <laughs> is probably more chill than I than you are, are you serious? serious yeah I'm probably the one that would be like uh, you can't uh, like you can't hug me a certain way like yeah. producers would know like my hard nose yeah and all of that but my husband is quite like he's he's understanding he's chill oh. he's very I don't know, he blows yeah. my mind because I'm always like, why are you so chill though? Wow. Because he's been so supportive from like yeah. day one uh, yeah. up till now. So yeah. Mm. What about Segi? Um, I mean, Miss Salgadon is very supportive and everything, but um, if there is a kissing scene, we do have to talk through it and rehearse <laughs> and come to a point yeah, where he's me. comfortable. <laughs> and then he'll be like, yeah, you can do it this way with that person. Oh, and then he likes to, to show him how the guy as well. <gasps> Sorry? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, I first yeah. started, I showed my husband how I kissed on screen. Oh, really? Oh, you yeah, yeah, to show you him. To, yeah. yeah. Oh. So I kissed my arm and I showed him that mm -hmm. there was no fluid exchange. No you know, like, you learn. Yeah, yeah. There's actually like a professional. Professional, it's a professional way to kiss. Yeah, yeah. No fluid ex Yeah, no, you, you don't. You, you don't. No, it's yeah, just. you don't it. exchange anything. Oh, oh, oh my word. I know. <laughs> well, we have to do <laughs> I would you love all to. have been uh, beautiful. You all are yeah. you're such beautiful people. Oh, beautiful thank souls. You. I mean, so it's amazing. Are you? Thank, you. thank you so much. It's been uh, it's been great. And Winfrey has been part of this conversation, sending us looks <laughs> and sending us smiles and giggles. Hi. Hey, Hello. wake lovely, up, princess here. You guys are what you do. Really talented. And it's a pleasure to meet you. You look so pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So. All thank right, you. guys. So and much yeah. for joining us, ladies. It's been a great show so far. Thank you to all our guests for being yeah. a part of the show today. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you. And mm -hmm. to you watching at home, we say thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's a wrap on the show today. We're going to be back tomorrow morning from mm. 7 a.m., everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.